Hi, I'm Paul Kerwin for Channel Signal, and today we're going to talk about the path to purchase and how it's changed with consumers. So let's say this is 1990, and these two people are talking about a bicycle, and this is a bicycle. And they're talking about a road bike, and they're saying this is a great road bike, and this guy's telling this guy that it's a great road bike, okay? In 1990, the only option that the consumer base had was to go to a retail sporting goods shop of some sort and then look at that bike and talk with the retail salesperson. So they'd have a conversation about the bike, they'd talk about the features, the benefits, the pricing, those kind of things. Now, if the retail salesperson was a good one, they may close the deal right there, okay? But if not, that consumer would go to another store and have another conversation with a retail salesperson and hopefully then the product knowledge was better, the pricing was better, and the deal was closed. Uh, but it was retail store to retail store to retail store to the consumer till, until a consumer was satisfied. Now, let's say this is 2014. Here's what happens now. They have the conversation about the bike and they move where they move online to talk about and they will go to a website or he or she will go and take a look at customer reviews the in both both cases here product knowledge here opinion and product knowledge so now the consumer when the consumer goes to the retail store the consumer is knowledgeable, much more knowledgeable than ever before. So this conversation right here better be a good one at retail. And they better know the products, and the retail salesperson better know the products, better know the features, better have good pricing, okay? And because if that's, the, if that's not the case, then that consumer is going to go back online, and that consumer is going to purchase online because he or she knows exactly the road bike that they want, and they're going to get it online. So here's the key things for the brands. The brands have to be present here. So when the consumer does go online, the important thing is that that consumer and the road bike is there, it's prevalent, and the consumer can access it easily. And there are good, positive customer reviews about that. Another thing, Retail sales training, it's critical. The brands have to get their training onto the retail salespeople because the consumer is educated. And if none of this happens, then they're going back online. Now, the, the manufacturer has to be uh, there also. And just in case a consumer wants to do some additional research. But in many instances, the research has already been done. They're now ready to purchase, and they do that online. So the difference is retail stores were the big thing. Nowadays, it's online, a combination of online, online education, retail stores, and back online if the consumer is not satisfied. I'm Paul Kerwin. Thanks for watching.